to develop a backcross population. To start with, what is a backcross? A backcross is a cross between a hybrid and one of its parents. In backcross method, hybrid and the progenies in the subsequent generations are repeatedly backcrossed to one of the parents. Here, the parent P1 is called the recurrent parent since it is used repeatedly in the backcross program. Here, P2 is called the non-recurrent parent since it is used only once for the production of F1 plants. Let us see how to do backcross in maize. Maize is the most important food crop next to rice and wheat. It belongs to the family Poaceae. It's a tall, monoecious annual grass. The male inflorescence is called tassel. The female inflorescence is the cob, which is the edible part of the plant. Maize is also a fodder crop used as animal feed. In this case, we will see how to improve the phytate content of a low phytate maize through backcross breeding. Phytase, as an enzyme, is capable of breaking down phytates in animal feeds to release inorganic phosphorus and inositol as well as proteins, amino acids, trace minerals and other nutrients chelated with phytates. Thus, phytase can reduce or eliminate the supplementation of inorganic phosphorus in the feeds of monogastric animals and improves the utilization efficiency of these nutrients contained in the feedstuff. As much as 90% of the total phosphorus in cereals and oil seeds can be locked up in the form of indigestible phosphorus. The first step in backcross is the production of F1 plants for which hybridization is done. Here, UMI395 is used as a female parent and has high phytate content and EC950418 is used as the male parent and it has a low phytate content. For hybridization, the female parent should be detasseled to prevent the presence of any pollen shedders. For hybridization, the cob of the female parent is covered at the silk emergence stage. The tassel of the male parent is covered with a paper bag to collect the pollen. The pollen from the male parent is collected and dusted onto the cob of the female parent. After pollination, the cob is covered to prevent contamination of any other foreign pollen. The seeds obtained are used to generate F1 plants. The F1 plants are then backcrossed with the recurrent parent UMI395 to give BC1 F1 plants. The selected plants are again backcrossed with the recurrent parent to give BC2 F1 plants. A backcross population is developed. Some of the merits of backcross are it usually requires small populations. It involves very little record keeping. The results are not affected by the changes in the environment. It gives predicted results and so extensive tests are not necessary as the recurrent parent is usually a well established variety. Some of the demerits of backcross are 
the newly developed variety is superior to the recurrent parent only for the character which is transferred and not for other characters. Very little recombination takes place. It is a lengthy process. By the time we transfer a gene to the variety, it may have been replaced by other superior varieties. It is ineffective for traits with low heritability. If some undesirable genes are closely linked to the desired gene, the undesirable genes are probably transferred along with the desired gene to the new variety. Some of the applications of backdrops are production of isogenic lines, intervarietal transfer of qualitative and quantitative characters with high heritability, interspecific transfer of traits with high heritability. Production of transgressive segregants is possible by the modification of this method. To improve a well-established variety with respect to one or few characters. Cytoplasmic transfer, especially with cytoplasmic male sterility line, which is used to transfer male sterility into pure lines, which is a prerequisite for many hybrid production breeding programs.